show everyone how we are going to use Adobe Spark to create our Google Display picture. This picture shows up on all Google platforms um, and will be really helpful specifically on Google Classroom for your teachers and peers to know who is who. So first off, let's just find the program. It will be our first link. So this program is supported by Peel District School Board and it is functions with your Google account. Um, so I'll just quickly sign out so I can show you the sign-in page. Um, so you're going, usually the sign-in button's right at the top. You're going to log in with your school account. That's your, the one that you've used for all Google platforms, including Google Classroom. Um, you can continue with Google because it is a Google account. And there we go. So once it does load, you will be given a lot of different options. This program is really, really fun to explore and pretty user-friendly. So for today, we're just going to create a custom size picture because the Google Display picture is small. We are creating quite a small image. So you'll see I'm just going to do the width and height as 300 pixels. Um, that'll make a nice small picture that will, won't distort too much when we make it the size it needs to be. Once that loads up, you'll see just a square here and a lot of different options. Now there's a lot of things to explore here. I'm going to show you a pretty basic way to get started. However, if you want to explore some more, you can. The only thing I would stay away from right now is animation. Our animated display pictures are just going to be a little bit distracted, distracting on Google Classroom. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add our name. So we're going to add text. Um, we are going to start from scratch. Add your text this way. I'm just going to show you just my last name for right now. All right, and you'll see everything's pretty basic so far, um, and there's lots of templates we can explore. So you'll see, once you've done that, you'll see all of these things here. Uh, you can change the font, you can change the spacing, you can change the, lots of different things here. Uh, so we want to get back to that main toolbar. So I've just, cl just clicked right off the screen, that's all. And sometimes you can click off the screen. If not, there'll be a small X here. And if you click that X, it'll still bring you back to this. It's kind of like our home um, toolbar. So I've got my name in the middle. We're going to look at now design. Design is just like some pre-made designs that you, you can explore and alter to make fun. So there's a couple here that I like. I know I've liked this one because I like the colors. But I can also change the colors for this one too. Um, so I do like this one a little bit. I'm going to change the color and see what happens. Um, let's go to a different, see what's around. Oh, lots of all colors. I can change that. I can change the background by clicking on the background. So depending on what you have highlighted would be the color that you can change. Um, and again, just explore it lightly, see what you like. All right, you know what, I've decided I don't really like this de design. I'm gonna go back to designs and see if there's another one that I like more. Uh, just click on different ones, see what it's like. Mm, that one's cute, okay. Let's see. I think my final one that I'll choose that I've liked in the past is this one. Those colors are not going to work well, and it's because it's too light with light. So to change the colors, I'm going to go to colors. And I think it's just easier if I just choose a template here. I think, ooh, they're all quite nice, but I want to make sure that my name pops out the most. That one, my name pops out pretty well. I think I'm really happy with the way this looks, so I'm going to stop it there. Um, if there's, again, you can change things as much as you'd like and explore. However, I'm happy with this, so I'm just going to quickly download it in order for us to make it our display picture. So in order to download, I'm just going to click download. We are going to save it as a PNG file and start download. I'm going to go solid color PNG. Um, my downloads automatically go to my download file. You might have to change it so you can find it on your desktop. 
So it just went straight into my download file. You saw it pop up there. So that's how you're going to create your display picture. Um, I'll show you later how we're going to actually make it our display picture in the Google platform. Uh, have fun exploring and I'm excited to see them all.